So every time I felt like I wanted to do this, this was what I had in mind. That maybe okay. there's a plan for me and through this I may be able to amplify or do something bigger. So that's where the journey for me started and it started very young. My first encounter with the beauty queen was Miss Ghana, 1996. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and I have a picture of her and my, my twin sister and I have a picture with oh, her. Oh, you were a twin? Yes. Uh, we <laughs> okay. <laughs> we okay. met at a children's party and my sister and I, we won the, we were third place to some dance competition and oh, she okay. came and she presented our prize and she took a picture with us and that was my first encounter with a beauty queen mm. and I thought, my gosh, she is gorgeous. Mm. And I think that's where it kind of built up from. Wow. <laughs> So then when you were young, you were into dancing? Yeah, I was very weird, but I liked to dance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still dance? I'm not that good, but I still what try. What are you explaining? <laughs> I can't ask a simple question, because I'm not going to put you on the test right now. Please don't. But I just wanted to know. But you're already explaining. <laughs> anyway, so then um, right from that infant um, stage, you decided that you wanted to be a queen someday. Yeah. So then... I'm sure there was Miss Ghana. There were other, other pageantries at the time. Why Malaika? I felt that they focused a lot on the. Um, they focused on the purpose. They okay. were very much into giving you a whole package. Mm. So you know, before we do the competition, we go through 16 weeks of rigorous, you know, trainings yeah. and tests. You are mm. taught how to be a lady. You are taught how to talk. You are taught to appeal for fans for mm -hmm. little little projects. Mm -hmm. You're taught how to cook. You're taught to interact with the girls. And I felt that that really would give me the kind of training that I, that I needed. And yeah. 10 backs in 10 years now, looking back, I see how valuable that experience was. Okay. You know, dealing with women, if you're in a team, how to be a teammate and mm -hmm. all of those things. Mm -hmm. And I felt that as opposed to all these other competitions, they kind of offered real value for what a woman should represents in society. So right. that's where I, I felt that maybe I could connect more with Miss Malaika. Wow. Take us through your audition time. Hmm. The cutting down, evictions, or all the... Take us through the experience. Well, my journey started in 2009. Mm -hmm. um, I got in there. I was really excited. And then my family was like, you know, maybe you're too young. Maybe you should wait a while. Okay. You know, so I went, I got selected the first round and then I dropped out. And then 2010, same story. At the time, my mom wasn't even in Ghana. She was in the U.S. So and three times. Yeah. So my third time, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to listen to anybody. I'm just <laughs> going to do this thing. And that was it. So I, my, my father dropped me off at my auditions. Nice. Yeah, really cool. And he came, he came back for me after it was really late. And I remember my second question for the second round where they mm -hmm. asked me who my favorite actor was and I said Idris Elba, of course. And at the time, he wasn't even that huge. But I was so in love with him. Ooh. And the judges were dazzled. They just thought I was so much fun. And I right. thoroughly enjoyed myself. I think I nearly slipped in my heels, actually. And then uh, the selection came, which was always very nerve-wracking and exciting mm -hmm. at the same mm -hmm. time. And then I found out that we had we had made it. And I think what made our year group a bit unique was we were all very, um, we we're all very shy, very, it's like we're all now coming out of our show. So yeah. even though it was a competition, yeah. it didn't really feel like a competition in okay. 2011. We we're really like close, okay. all of us. And I think that's what made it very unique. So I'm glad that I didn't get 2009, 2010. I didn't pursue it, right. but I waited till 2011. 11. So no regrets. No regrets at all. Wow. I'm just imagining, like you're saying, now you've become family and then week in, week out, tax coming up, people yeah. need to leave and all that. Yeah. How did it feel to see people you had grown so fond of and so close to leaving the house? I mean, it honestly felt sad because, I mean, everybody who came, came because they had that single goal in mind. Mm -hmm. So to see everybody leave was like, oh my God, like you just, the journey has been cut short. But you have to quickly kind of get your head in the game and understand that it is really a competition, exactly. And so you have to move. Did you ever feel like, okay, you could go home too? Yeah. I mean, when they come and they read the votes, I think I usually, I was one of the people that were always at the bottom, at the bottom, at the bottom. So, I mean, for me, okay. even though people feel... Ooh, so, wow, <laughs> interesting. Ten whole years back, right? Yay, Jerry! <laughs> <laughs> 
interesting wow so this is um 2011 year so awkward this dance and we are seeing all the beautiful ladies <laughs> ah that's me that's you <laughs> wow and then the guys were just having a ball laughing <laughs> so what you you were not uh, yeah, we were supposed to move to some beats and it was just awkward. <laughs> I see. Okay, so then um, all these things coming out, then week in, week out, you see that, okay, so this is happening, this is happening. These ladies are going off, some are coming in, and these are people you had grown fond of, like I'm saying. And I just asked, did you ever at a point feel like, okay, I could go off too? Oh, yeah. I did. I told you, when they read the votes and you see that your name is at the bottom. It, and you're I, always down there. I was always down there. So, it's so, so contrary to what people believe. Like, I, I'm not that popular. I wasn't that popular then. I was always at the bottom. So how did you make it through to the finals? I, I pulled my weight in the tax. Like, okay. those are the things that are used to save you. And the godmothers also have a say. So, okay. I mean, that also came in handy. But in mm. terms of, like, the votes and stuff, I, I wasn't one of the popular ones. Okay. Okay, interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Now let's talk about the impact. You just said that um, when you look back to th those years or that year, you realize that over the period, um, all the things you learned from the pageant or from the competition have been very, very beneficial to you. So obviously, it has had some positive impact on you. Has there ever been anything, um, any negative effect? of pageantry on you as an individual um i think that i mean when you go into a competition and you don't win obviously that kind of takes a toll on your self-esteem and mm -hmm. i think when it's a competition about image mm -hmm. your self-image and mm -hmm. how you're perceived by judges the right. audience the whole nation mm -hmm. it kind of takes a toll on you so i won't sit here and pretend that it was a breeze i think i took a hit for like a good year Ooh. after the competition to try and find myself i mean i did this when i was 20 even though i feel like i was old enough because mm -hmm. we had other queens who were 17 18 mm -hmm. 19 i mean relatively i was a bit older right. but it still took a toll on me because i never really thought about beauty standards in that sense i never really thought about the fact that people have an opinion about how you look and that can translate in all these different things mm -hmm. that um, came out of it. So yeah, it definitely did. But I think I came out stronger on the other side. Ooh, wow. A, a year? Yeah. It took a year. <sighs> it took a year. Well, it takes a strong person to overcome whatever hits them so hard. And so for you to get through it in a year, I feel it was good. Kudos to you. Well done. <laughs> and... Um, when we search for your year, mm. okay, mm, what is, <laughs> mm, you have anything you want to say before I continue? I was honestly, looking back 10 years, I wouldn't trade the journey for anything. I mean, some people left with cash prizes, um, a crown or whatnot, but I, I honestly left with a tribe of sisters. I wouldn't trade for anything in this world. Wow. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's beautiful. So I was coming to the fact that when we search your year, um, on the net, what Google tells us is that it's so there's that caption or the headline by far the questionable pageant in the history of Ghana. And I know that um, in 2011 there was a lot of talk about the fact that you deserved a crown or you deserve to take first place and not to be um, second or first runner up and all of that. I believe you heard some of these things knowing yourself this is not to undermine anybody's way on anybody's effort but knowing everything that you did and seeing all of these you come and talk about what um public thoughts but yourself it took a toll on you obviously you expected more did you think or do you feel that okay so what is being said or what was being said at the time was right you deserved a crown um, in the heat of the moment, I think that there was a part of me that was inclined to feel that, okay, maybe it was a bit weird how things happened. Mm -hmm. But um, having known the winner throughout the years, I would say this here, and hopefully that ends this whole conversation, that there couldn't have been a more deserving person. She is 
a true human being. She's the, one of the kindest people that I know. Okay. She's very loyal. She's a very good person. And you can't look at a knight to discredit somebody or to uh, validate somebody. somebody. And in as much as on that night, yes, I may have dazzled the crowd and everything. I think that what they were looking for was something that Jerry had matured into already okay you know i was still now finding my feet learning my voice finding my confidence and okay. i think the fact that i didn't win was actually a good thing it gave me more drive more resilience to put in it's made me a bit more competitive okay than i would have been if i had worn out i've probably taken life a bit more casually mm. than i do now and so now that i look back at it yes it was very painful i felt that it wasn't really fair but i also believe that they couldn't have found a more deserving queen than jerry so I, I'll take I'll take that, but I should say that um, women empowerment is what we strive for right now. And to hear you speak about a fellow woman like this, God bless you. Is all I can say. <laughs> no, for real, because imagine competing with someone, and then all of a sudden, you have the opportunity. Someone will take that opportunity to um, try to put themselves above that person. But you haven't done that. So, Jerry, you have a good friend sitting right here. <laughs> and I think you guys are, um, you should hold on to whatever it is that you have. We're the very connection, close. the bond, and all We're of that. We're very, very close. Right. So, moving away from all of that, um, coming to you having the opportunity, let's just assume out of the blue, you're able to own the franchise of Miss Malaika. That's huge, huh? Big. <laughs> <laughs> But let's, let me just say, I'm a prophetess. So you yeah, actually, know. it's a dream come true. It's one of the things I've right, written down. Right, right, <laughs> right. So I'm just prophesying it. And then we'll it might come to it. pass soon. Real soon. What is it that you would add or take out? I think there's a lot of character development okay. during the 16 weeks that I think we overlook because we're focused on the entertainment aspect of it. There are lots of valuable skills that the ladies can really um, learn during the 16 week that i think that the show because the focus is on en entertainment pleasing the okay. brands and all of that we tend okay. to take for granted and i okay. think that if i'm ever given the opportunity to own the franchise mm -hmm. that's something that i would really put a lot of effort into i think right. that women understanding when they come out of the program that you are a role model people look up to you mm -hmm. you you have to be human we yeah. all have our vulnerabilities yeah. and our weaknesses but it's important to have a certain strong sense of self a strong sense of values a strong character that yeah. allows you to be adaptable in every kind of environment and i think that's something i'd like to really develop if i ever get the franchise so like these are queen people so like i'm just enjoying the conversation Aww. and all of that but what have you really been up to after pageantry aside being a mom we'll come and talk about <laughs> you being a mom but what else have you been up to because oof it's been it's to <laughs> People don't prepare you for life after the pageants. I think that once you get in there, you just automatically assume that, oh, doors are going to open for you. Yeah. And that's not exactly how things go okay. after the uh, pageants. And I think I've come to believe that it takes the 10-year marker before you suddenly see the seeds you've sown during the pageants kind of spring up for you. Okay. So I try to do a little bit of TV. I try to do a little bit of radio. Then um, school was still in there. Then I took a short break to have my son. Then mm. I had a full-time job that gave me very little time to pursue other interests. Right. And then I got to work for one of the most amazing creative directors in Ghana. His name is Jason Nati. Okay. And I was there for a little over a year where I learned so much and opened my horizon to all these different things that mm -hmm. I can now sit down and develop and create for myself. So, right. And then now I'm working for an amazing company now available Africa and I work on some of the amazing amazing accounts like um, Unilever, okay. Nestle, okay. Um, okay. BF Omo. So I'm mm. really excited to be on that side and to appreciate what being like a full time career person. And I got lucky to be um, play a leading role in one of the most exciting exactly what I've been waiting to hear. <laughs> Right? How was yeah. the experience? But okay, fine. We'll come and talk about the experience. But we have a clip we'd love to share with the viewers. So just enjoy. We'll be right back. This aloe ball just came visiting us. And as you are aware, it 
calls for a fight. As you step out today, remember that the arrows are no good people. Varys are the most intelligent and most powerful species of humans on Earth. I'm in love. She's a Vera, Vera Lynn. How could you be in love with a Vera? You have to stop this feeling. It's too late, Aladdin. It's already entered my system. Why can't I love whom my heart wants? Oh, shut up! You think you're the wisest among the Veras? Aladdin! Hello, Maria. You're a very beautiful girl. Aladdin! Your brother is acting weird, and I want you to keep an eye on him. Remember, you're undercover. Okay. Don't show your face. If you see an alo or anything belonging to them on your land, blow your whistle. Hey, 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 hey. Papa Halloween has a top secret on. You don't mean it. Are the Allos as bad as we've been told? Very, very bad. Everything we say about them is true. You and an Alu must never breathe or blink at the same time. Be honest. These colors tear us apart. You cannot sing with a bear. How hard is it for you to understand that you cannot do anything with them? You see, you have disgraced me. You're beautiful. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what am I? Am I an aloe or a vera? Or? A very beautiful combination of aloe vera. You have the vera in there, you have the aloe in your blouse. <laughs> aloe, hey, sorry, yes, say aloe. I, I know aloe vera, aloe vera. Okay, so you guys brought the two communities together. I mean, about? initially they were one, and okay. then they had a disagreement over a chicken and an egg, who's more important. So yeah, I mean, it's, so we came really? and yeah, we came and we met their history. But there is a story like that. There's a similar um, story of a town in the northern region, which actually the war broke up because of a similar argument. So we kind of just borrowed the context a bit because we felt people would be more familiar with the story. With the story, wow, beautiful. So that was your first time acting? No, that was actually my first big role. Yes, but um, um, in 2016 mm -hmm. or fi no 15. Um, Shelly Fimpa so casted me for a role in Champagne. Oh, nice. Yeah, and then before then I had done Peep when I was in school. I okay. played an extra, one of the episodes where I had to kiss a guy. Ooh, <laughs> how was it? It was awkward because I didn't know the guy from anywhere. <laughs> and Shelly made us take that thing like, so many times. <laughs> so he kept you multiple times? Yeah, we had to do the kiss and take for a while. <laughs> so you kissed multiple times? Yeah. Nice. Okay. So then, is, is acting something you would want to pursue? Absolutely. Acting and producing and directing. Um, I've currently developed um, a script I wrote in 2013. Okay. It's a story I'm very passionate about, and I'm just trying to find myself in the right place where I can get the support I need for it. Okay. So definitely, my path and my future is in filmmaking. Um, Coming to pass soon, yeah. right? Absolutely, right, it has right, to. <laughs> right, right, right. We are here for it. We are here to support anytime, Thank you. any day. But before we go, this year, Malaika, who are you rooting for? Oh my goodness, I'm even embarrassed to say I haven't been able to keep up with um, what the contestants are doing. Okay. But what I'm hoping for is that the person with the right character, the right attitude, the right personality to kind of bring it all together will mm -hmm. be the one that win so uh, for the audience try and look beyond what you see on tv to right. find out what's truly hidden on the inside wow wow anything you'd want to tell young girls out there who'd want to go out there and be themselves follow their passion their dreams or get into pageantry before we go quickly um what i'd like to tell you is that it's it's a tough place for women but fortunately for us there are lots of opportunities for women to shine right um, I think we should be very confident about owning our spaces. We should be very, um, don't let anybody talk you out of your dreams. I'd rather have you go and fail than mm -hmm. not to go at all. Try at all. So please try and whatever you get out of those experiences, know that in the next 10 years it will make sense. Mm. So don't give up and don't be too down on yourself if things mm. don't go your mm. way. There's always a brighter future if you only keep to what you're doing and you stay committed to the path you've chosen, you'll be very successful. 
Okay, so you heard it from a queen herself, and I'm looking forward to having all three of you here. Woo! You and your sisters together, yes. right here on Malaika Diaries. Okay, guys, so thank you so much for always making time to watch the show, and I'm so sorry I'm never able to read your comments, but trust me, I read it after the show, and I'm very, very glad that we we're able to make your evenings very worthwhile. Thank you. My name is Ofriwa, and as usual, I live in the able hands of Regina and the young ladies in Malaika 21. Enjoy. Yeah. Miss Malaika Ghana is brought to you by Nivea, Fritol, Royal Century Hotel, GTP, Malta Guinness, Kenya Airways, Tomrick Hotel, GH1 TV, with support from Aspire Destinations, Lux, Geisha. Special thanks to our venue partners, the Grand Arena. Our task for this week is something I'm very, very, very excited and looking forward to because as a queen, your appearance is very important. So a queen comes in all her glory. From the intelligence, the beauty, your looks is also very important. And that is why I love the fashion episode because you get to see the creative side of our delegates. So this week is all about fashion, style, strutting the runway and your creativity. The fashion task is in three rounds. The first one is fashion for charity. So for the fashion for charity, we want you to pick someone that you think needs that extra oomph in their style or how they dress. So it can be someone that's extremely busy and you feel doesn't have time to, you know, dress up and show up. Or it can be a friend that you think, you know, is always buried in their books and so they don't have time to look good. Do, do we have anybody like that in our lives? Yeah. Okay, so I guess that we already have that person. now. The catch is that you're going to be put into groups of three and you'd have to style the person from your own wardrobe. And I know you would ace it because you always look good, ladies. Yeah, are we ready for it? Yeah. Okay. The second round is twinning with a motherly figure or your role model. Now this person has to be above the age of 40 and you'd have to design an outfit that both of you would have to twin in. So do we have anybody like that in mind? Lazo, who would you be styling? Your aunt, okay. Precious. Your godmother. Nice. Okay, ladies, so that is for the round two. Twinning with your mother figure or a role model. So the last round is styling yourself for the Met Gala. So ladies, imagine you've been invited to the Met Gala. Now you've seen how some of your favorite celebrities dress to that occasion, right? Yeah. Very dramatic, crazy so much energy on the red carpet and that's what we're expecting to see but of course you'll be judged by some of our guests that will be coming on the show so they'll be looking out for how you strike the runway um, your creativity and your elegance so you need to bring all of that on the runway who are some of your favorite celebrities that you've seen on the Met Gala? Winnie? Kim Kardashian right okay Doreen who? Kylie okay who? Precious Rihanna nice so you've seen all the styles um, we're expecting that you create your personal style no copying everything should just come from you we also have some stylists that will be assisting you for this particular round yeah, yeah. okay so if you're ready to do this grab your pencils and your papers because there is a lot of work to be done yeah, yeah. ready yes okay then so that is it for the fashion task and i wish you all the best for it thank you black and white deodorant protects me and my favorite outfit. That's why I feel confident and free. With 5-in-1 anti-formula, I stay fresh and protected for 48 hours. And my clothes stay stain free. Nivea black and white anti-stain deodorant. Try it. Nivea's 5-in-1 anti-action formula and 48-hour protection is also available for men.
great to have a hearty, healthy family. Phytol Sunflower Cooking Oil, also cholesterol free for tasty, healthy meals. Love your food, love your life. This advertisement has been vetted and approved by the FDA. Mata Ankuma. Hey, oh, oh Chaisa. Now, <laughs> Clemento. Yes. You know I really like you. Okay. But that's your fabric. It doesn't look genuine. Hey, design, no? GTP design. GTP put in here printed colors, be sale. She, when buying GTP, always check the design number on the label. The same number is printed on the salvage. Oh, dear, what come at it? We're genuine. Yeah, we do a term of people, what? Jack. Shine your eye. GTP is available in various shops and online at www.buygtp.com. GTP. Timeless. Delegates hair styled by First Choice. Cook's hair. Enel Beauty Bar. Lovely accessories from YS Dazzle. It's one of Miss Malaika designers. Working with them was so amazing. We have lovely designs. I really love how they cooperated with my team, and I'm looking for an epic show. Elegance is not just about standing out. It's about creating a distinctive look that will leave a mark in the hearts and minds of people. And tonight, I'm so positive that my 12 delegates will leave a mark that will get you asking for more. They'll be strutting the runway with their beautifully designed outfits and I can't wait to see it. Good evening, my name is Regina Van Helvet and I am your host for Miss Malaika Ghana's GTP Fashion Night. The ladies have been working hard and tonight, well, the fashion show is in three rounds. Round one, we call it Fashion for Charity. Now the ladies were taxed to find someone who is most deserving of a makeover, and so there's going to be a transformational look, and I can't wait to see it. Round two, the ladies were asked to twin with someone that they consider a motherly figure or a role model in their life. And of course, they've been given the chance to decide which event they want to attend. For round three, if you love crazy fashion, well, this is for you because our ladies have been taxed to take us their Met Gala. So they're supposed to dress in the Met Gala themed outfit and I'm so sure that the outfit will be jaw dropping. And I actually love this episode because I also get to steal a few styles from our delegates. So look forward to it. Now tonight we'll be judging based on their look, how they strut the runway, creativity and elegance and of course I won't be doing this alone I have my honorable judges here with me and they will be scoring our delegates now let's find out who our judges are judges. Hi African. Hi Atu. Hello. How are you doing tonight? Doing so well. Nice. So quickly tell me what you'd be expecting from our ladies tonight. Personally I will be looking out for a lot of creativity and um, for me it will be the technical bit a little just a little attention to details and how well they execute the text they've been given. All By right. the way, you look beautiful. Thank you so much, African. For me also, I'll be looking for the inspiration behind the pieces. I'll be looking for elegance because you have to hold the pieces very well. And um, I'm hoping to be excited. Well, we also hope that you'll be able to get some models after this. Starting with me. Will I pass? 
have passed. <laughs> you have passed. Thank you so much, judges. So ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it's a transformational process, meaning that we get to see the before of whoever it is the lady decided to work on. So we'll take a look at this video. When we come back, I will call on our first set of delegates. Achawami Danela Yuli, ni ishia yosu, kunye nyi ni hon yosu uji indomi. Inye jeng biko ni yi ladies ete koke mipe. Na me kem nyake, oh, ta me fita malaika paje nte ye. A to anana ke, ke o chuni ye gbehe. A lo o ya, moko nuchumo he ye, ye ne e chuoni ye, beno ba anyo so ye aha. Ni none woni ikpe ne, ame nuchumo ne he hun uji ake. Mo fiya mons mo ne se he biko biko. She won't know what you want to hear. Well, we're not the kind of case I will hear. Never I don't. Judges, what do you think about this look? Lazo, Winnie, and Doreen, your makeover is impressive. I'm really, really amazed by the whole turnout. Would you please tell us what um, you were envisaging when you chose this corporate look for your model? Okay, so we came up with this corporate look because our model is a graduate and we know that the next phase of anybody's life after school is to work. So we just wanted to give her a feel of how that whole experience is. So that's why we came up with this look. Thank you. Beautiful transformation. You all are looking very elegant. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, delegates. You can now take your leave. Let's meet our second set with a round of applause. We have been to Iris and Nuseli. Me fe me mausi na me di 23 years. Me obi a me pama di pa na da ku me wo me shop enim ena miss malika for me ensa eba me change be di ngomo se on person mo transform me ena me trans di na me di ngomo se adi we be bo a me pa enti me di pe ni etu mo. And I must say, see, I miss my life for us to be brave. Judges, we'd love to hear from you. Hi, I think you're looking very elegant. Can you tell us what inspired this look? Okay, so Mawisi right here is an entrepreneur and a student, and she really doesn't have time. So we decided to give her a simple but classic makeover. We decided the orange jacket because, you know, melanin, orange pops out your color. So that brings out the eye color and the teeth and all that and the pants because she needs to be smart because she's a student, so she's a smart lady. And the black because black complements everything. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, thank you so much, delegates. You can now take your leave. Sugar daddy. Asia, Hillary, and Abuna are next delegates. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome them with a round of applause. Your friend, Aisha, your cool. My honor, meeting Miss Malaka Fonka. Almost one person dressed me. 
Maniaji because family dressing bazaar, my own name, she a jar bazaar. But Miss Mamma person won't dress in yummy makeup as a mean year bit or me as I may buy you. But Maniaji, in fact, Maniaji pa. Well done, well done. Congratulations. Thank you. As you can see, our model is an endomy seller, and one of her dreams is to get engaged soon. So we dressed her the part. This is making her so happy. She feels so confident. We also contributed 500 CDs each to give to her to help her with her business. Oh, Asia. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Your model is so pleased. <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies. All right, you can take your leave now. Thank you so much. And now it's time for us to meet the final set from Poma, Ama, and Precious. Me feel not in rage. Me dem feel twenty. Then my me are about frame. To me brand on C S me. Now me want your face. The money I just pan. Person me want to do. Me want be face. My love, oh no. My love, oh no. It's fine. Maybe today I don't get nothing. But tomorrow I go get something. And I go buy the motor for my mouth. But the enemy won't worry me. I go show all of them tragedy. No be today, no be today. We start to. So if I sing my song, if I keep on for long. Um, can you tell us about the look? So if you want to go bold, go red. And as you can see, um, She's never actually walked in a hill before. We convinced her that, again, a way for you to enjoy your outfit or to actually rock it is when you're comfortable in it. So I was like, let her keep her real self. I mean, there's someone for everyone, and I hope this date goes really perfect. Well done. Well done, well done. All right, thank you so much, delegates. Miss Malaika Ghana is all about transforming the lives of our beautiful delegates, and it's very nice to see them do the same for other women. Please, let's give them another round of applause for this. They've worked really hard to make it possible. We'll go for a quick break. When we come back, we'll jump right into round two for tonight's show. Nivea Black and White Deodorant protects me and my favorite outfit. That's why I feel confident and free. With 5-in-1 anti-formula, I stay fresh and protected for 48 hours. And my clothes stay stain-free. Nivea Black and White anti-stain deodorant. Try it. Nivea's 5-in-1 anti-action formula and 48-hour protection is also available for men. Black. It's not dark. It's bright. Black is bold. Black is an energy. Black is everything. Black is gold. <laughs> Black is every color all together. Black is my thing, your thing, our thing mixed together. Yes. Black shines 
brightest. What do you look out for when checking into a hotel? Cleanliness, amenities, food, safety, and more. Tomrick Hotel has it all covered. From our luxurious rooms to our fine dining restaurants, swimming pool, fitness center, business center, conference, and more. At Tomrick Hotel, we understand hospitality, and we go the whole nine yards. Call reservations today on 302 510 0302510382 or info at tomerichotel.com. Locate us at Shiashi Lagos Avenue in East Legon. Call us today. We welcome you to an amazing experience. Tomerich Hotel, hospitality redefined. Delegates delicious meals by Anis Food and Drinks, Onion New Foods, Cheesy Pizza. Welcome back. You're still watching Miss Malika Ghana's GTP Fashion Night. And we are just about to jump into round two. But before then, let me just quickly remind you that if you love what you see and you're still rooting for your favorite delegate, you don't just sit at home and watch the show. You need to grab your phone and keep voting for her. Just text her number to star 711 star 80 hash. Let me also remind you that the delegates with the highest cumulative votes from the beginning of the pageant will get a spot for the grand finale happening on the 30th of October right here at the Grand Arena. You don't want to disappoint your favorite delegate, so keep voting to make sure that you see her do her thing on stage. It's time for us to see what we have for round two, and like I mentioned, all our delegates will be twinning with someone they consider a role model or a mother figure in their life. I'm sure you can't wait to see it because I definitely can't wait to see it. So our first delegates was styled by Eugene DeWeiss, her makeup was done by Brainy's Beauty and her hair was styled by Cook's Hair. Accessories from YS Dazzle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome her with a round of applause. Nuseli! Slow down, slow down, down, down. She said, make slow down, slow down, down, down. Slow down, down, down. She said, we don't move too fast. And we take them easy She said, make a hold on What we could do I know them have this thing, yeah. I'm tryna go all the way with you, with you. Tryna have my kiss with you, kiss with you. <laughs> If we're gonna get into it I know they think that we should wait No need to keep delay But she said, make a hold on She so said, what? One, two, three, baby, only Delegate is Doreen. Now, Doreen's outfit was designed by Eugene DeWise. Her makeup was done by Legan Beauty, and her hair was styled by Kuzi Styles. Let's welcome her and her mom with a round of applause. Looking like an African Cinderella Girl, you're the one You blow my mind like a vuvuzela You give me life You gon' make me give you all of my cheddar So I want you bad, I want you now, I want you now Bye Miami, baby Need me say, oh, yeah, me lady Bye Miami, baby Need me say, oh, yeah, me dear, you do them fine Too 
them fine. Now, our delegates number three was styled by Nancy Sawyer. Her makeup was done by Lux by Laurie, and she was accessorized by YS Dazzle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Iris with a round of applause. Bad mind, no be say be badass. Come on, what tell her what you man say? One yell and when when guru one day. Money sweet, but get to me the problem. Open your mind, it be your wildness. No one hold you up, we never back up. Roll the enemy up, smoke like anjo. Jangu party is a hika. She your bank and we go. Miss Bobo, Miss Bobo, check it out, me a dabo. Check it out, me check it out. Our next delegates was styled by Dash Fashion GH. Her makeup was done by Rabbi's Touch and her hair was styled by Cook's Hair. She was accessorized by YS Dazzle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Lazo with a round of applause. <laughs> All right, so our next delegate was accessorized by YS Dazzle. Let's welcome Frim Poma. Delegates were styled by Governor. Her makeup was done by Rabbi Touch, and her hair was styled by First Choice Hair and Beauty Saloon. And of course, accessories from YS Dazzle, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome Asia. <laughs> Delegates were styled by Ships by Nelson. Her makeup was done by Shades and Brushes. And her hair was styled by Enel Beauty Bar. Accessories from YS Dazzle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Winnie. Your mercies ever 
Right, our next delegate was styled by Jews Fashion. Her makeup was done by Slay by J and her hair from First Choice Hair and Beauty Saloon. Accessories from YS Dazzle. Let's welcome Hillary. My mother, my mother, see my mother, my mother, come and see my mother, hey. my mother, my mother, see my mother, my mother, come and carry, my mom, come and carry, come Now our next delegate was styled by Ruba Carls. Her makeup was done by Ibels and her hair was styled by Inel Beauty Bar. Let's welcome Abna. Delegates was styled by Viacas. Her makeup was done by Nats Glam and her hair from Hair Extraordinaire. Of course, she was accessorized by YS Dazzle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Precious. Oh my God. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. So B2 was styled by Dash Fashion. Her makeup was done by Keta MH and that's herself. And her accessories from YS Dazzle. Let's welcome her with a round of applause.
Now to our next delegate, Ama. She was styled by a Truba. Her makeup was done by Faceville Beauty. And her hair was styled by First Choice Hair and Beauty Saloon Accessories from YS Dazzle. Let's welcome her with a round of applause. Adina. And they call me Eugene. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our lovely delegates adorn in fabrics from GTP. Very, very beautiful. Judges, what is your overall impression about this round? Um, this round has been very exciting. I, lo I actually love the support of the parents and all, all the elderly ones. Um, the energy was there. The styles are very beautiful. It was a good round. All right, well, there's more coming your way. We have round three. We'll go for a quick break. When we come back, the ladies will be coming out in their Met Gala-themed outfits. One I just can't wait to see. We'll be right back. Africa, it's amazing and it's ours. So why not get out there? and explore it with Kenya Airways. We crisscross this incredible continent over 500 times a week, offering unrivaled connections to over 40 destinations via our world-class hub in Nairobi. There's so much more to see. Discover Africa with Kenya Airways, the pride of Africa. My what do you look out for when checking into a hotel? Cleanliness, amenities, food, safety, and more. Turmeric Hotel has it all covered. From our luxurious rooms to our fine dining restaurants, swimming pool, fitness center, business center, conference, and more. At Turmeric Hotel, we understand hospitality, and we go the whole nine yards. Call reservations today on 0302-510-307-03. 302-510-382 or info at tomerichotel.com. Locate us at Shiashi Lagos Avenue in East Legon. Call us today. We welcome you to an amazing experience. Tomerich Hotel. Hospitality redefined. Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Drew, your favorite lifestyle and travel presenter on MX24. This is the month of October and it's pink month where we're talking all about our booze. Here on MX24 there are so many activities that we've got for you to get involved in and we are ending with a bang with Booth Talk on the 30th of October at Accra Mall. Make sure you're there, you don't want to miss this. Delegates beautiful costumes by Etruba Couture, Governor, Eugene Device, Dash Fashion GH, Santi Trends. Well, welcome back. This is the Miss Malaika Ghana's GTP Fashion Night and our ladies have done so well strutting the runway. And this is just a tip of the iceberg on what to expect at the grand finale happening on the 30th of October right here at the Grand Arena. If you want to see your favorite delegates do her thing, do not forget to keep voting for her 
And let me also remind you that the delegates with the cumulative highest votes from the beginning of the pageant till the grand finale automatically gets a spot. So make sure you keep voting, cheering them on. Go on our social media pages, Miss Malaika Ghana, to make sure that your favorite delegate gets all the support in the world. Please buy your tickets because without a ticket, no entry for you. And now it's time for us to step into some drama. If you love drama like myself, ladies and gentlemen, allow us to take you to the Met Gala in Ghana. So our first delegate is ready to step on next with her outfits from Eugene DeWise, makeup done by Brainy's Beauty, and her hair was styled by Cook's Hair. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Nuseli with a round of applause. Mega de funamo, mega de funamo, love. Stroll a femme dan do do de bo. Chat on yen do do koto atina, love. Mejibe na chinamo, yeme nya wolo. Tell me the reason I should stay Is it the fact that you're alone? Why do you pick my pride on the Beautiful, beautiful gown. Take us through your look. I chose this fabric because of its vibrant colors to complement my complexion. And the style because, hey, it's Met Gala. Go bold or go home. Congratulations, I love your look. Thank you. Go bold or go home. Thank you so much, Nuseli. You can take your leave now. Up next on stage, well, she was styled by Eugene DeWise. Her makeup was done by Legan Beauty. And her hair was styled by Kuzi Styles. Accessories from YS Dazzle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Doreen. So what was the brain behind um, the white ensemble, the whole, the shema? This signifies the stars. And for the feathers, it signifies the fact that we should never give up in life. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much, Doreen. You can take your leave now. Delegate number three was styled by Nancy Sawyer. Her makeup was done by Lux by Laurie. And her hairstyle was by Sally Black. Shall we welcome Iris? about your gown okay. it's the Met Gala so I wanted to keep it simple yet classy and maintain my Africanity and also the headpiece it's called the Zara head cup because I am the queen thank you awesome all right thank you so much Iris now delegates number four was styled by Dash Fashion GH her makeup was done by Rabbi's Touch and her hair was styled by Cook's Hair. Accessories from YS Dazzle. Shall we welcome Lazo? <laughs> Over 
troubled waters God was by our side It's you and I Lazo, take us through your look. I got my inspiration from the movie Maleficent. This look makes me feel more confident, elegant, and more powerful, which is how I believe every lady should feel powerful. Powerful indeed you look. All right, thank you, Maleficent Lazo. My next delegate was styled by Governor. Makeup was done by Beauty and Beauty. Hairstyle by Beauty and Beauty. Shall we welcome Frimpama? Can you tell us about your gown? What inspired it? I love to be different. And as you can see, I have Swarovski crystals on my head, representing the crystal that I am. And you can see these bold um, arms that I actually got here. They should tell you that I fly with wings and with crystals too. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Frimpoma. Our delegate number six was styled by Governor. Her makeup was done by Rabi's Touch, and her hair was styled by First Choice Hair and Beauty Saloon. Accessories from YS Dazzle. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Asia. <laughs> to know the theme for your Met Gala look. Okay, so I didn't want to do too much. So I went simple with a touch of drama. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Asia. Delegate number seven was styled by Shapes by Nelson. Makeup was done by Shades and Brushes and her hair was styled by Inel Beauty Bar. Shall we welcome Winnie? Um, can you tell me about the inspiration? Okay, so I wanted to do something so different. So I went for the color red, which signifies confidence and boldness. And I also wanted to look elegant, like the queen that I am. Okay, you look very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you, elegant Winnie. Fashion styled our next delegate. Her makeup was done by Slay by Jay and hair from First Choice Hair and Beauty Saloon. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet Hillary. <laughs> Can you tell us how the design process was like for you? Well, I'm usually a very dramatic person. I go for dramatic styles. But this time I told my designer I wanted something very simple and something that will show my legs because I believe my legs are long and they take me to good places. So that's Thank why you I told so him. much. Very simple. <laughs> Thank you, Hillary. Next, delegates ready to strut the runways. Outfit was designed by Ruba Carls. Her makeup was done by Ibels and her hair was styled by Inel Beauty Bar. Accessories from YS Dazzle. Shall we welcome Abena? Thank you, Abena. 
instante da seem to be enjoying your outfit. I'm loving my outfit. <laughs> Tell me about it. This is the first time we are having Met Gala in Ghana, and we Ghanaians love food, so it's time to change for dinner. Dinner is served. But then that's not it. I need to go to my party. <laughs> how lovely do I look? Thank you for showing us how costumey we can always look. Thank you. Thank you, Abna. Well, delegates number 10 was styled by N1 Clothing. Her makeup was done by Nads Glam, and her hair was done by Hair Extraordinaire. Shall we welcome Precious? <laughs> Just hold me tight, light up the fire. Far grab one and see so well. The camas was in the day. So tell us about your gown to the Met Gala. So I was inspired by natural minerals in Ghana. Gold represents wealth and royalty. So all you see here is Ghana, a queen in her queendom. Thank you. And you're carrying the gown off very well. Thank you very much. She says a queen in her queendom. Thank you so much. My next delegate was styled by Dash Fashion GH and she slayed her face. Accessories from YS Dazzle. Shall we welcome Bintu. Mega de funamo, mega de funamo lo. Stroll a femme dan do do de bo. Chet on yen do do koto atina wo lo. Mejibe na chinamo, yeme nya wo lo. I am curious. I want to know the theme too. <laughs> okay, so the theme for this look is Malaika, meaning angel. And an angel is supposed to look angelic and simple. And this actually connotes with my religion, which is me being a Muslim. I need to be angelic, so I decided to dress like a Malaika. Thank you. Go for the gold. All right, been to going for gold. Thank you so much. You can take your leave now. Now, before I bring our final delegates on stage, let me just remind you that our ladies were groomed by Exotic Modeling Agency, and all the beautiful pictures you see on our social media pages were taken by Chocolate Shotted. Thank you so much. Now, she was styled by Santi Trent. Her makeup was done by Beauty, and her accessories was given to her by YS Dazzle. Let's welcome Ama. Take us through your look. Okay, so if you notice, I kept my outfit at least 85% African print. This was very intentional because I want to stay in touch with my roots. I also went for a textured hair, of course, because we Africans don't necessarily have straight hair, naturally. So underneath this dress is a Met Gala after party I'm about to reveal. Show us the surprise. <laughs> 
So, I'm headed to the Met Gala after party now. Beautiful. Thank you Beautiful, very much. Amma. Well done. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amma. Thank you. Me, me, ya, doubt you. Hey, me, ya, one number one fan, pa. Sir, yeah, and to manage our Instagram, my dear, the patch of say GTP, dear. Pure. Down is warm. Just say, the beers me who be a no as a sum. GTP has endless designs. When buying, just make sure that the source is original, genuine, and authentic. You can buy from any wooden store or any of the GTP accredited dealers nationwide. Or you can do as I do, go online. Buy from www.buygtp.com. Here again. Who you got? Jack. Sign your eye. GTP. Timeless. Delegates beautiful photos and behind the scenes shots by Chocolate Shot It and Vaughn Creative Consult. Delegates grooming done by Exotic Modeling Agency. Shall we have all our delegates with their designers strut the runway so we can see the wonderful faces behind all those beautiful designs. Fabric from GTP, thank you so much for your generosity. Ladies and your designers, please take your final walk. like to call on the representative from Exotic Modeling Agency. Thank you so much. Take a very good look at our 12 delegates. Don't they look gorgeous? They look so beautiful. Well, I see a projection of a lot of brain work, sweat, and creativity. Congratulations going out to you all, ladies. You should give yourself a round of applause. Yeah. You've all done so well. This is just a tip of the iceberg on what you need to expect at the grand finale happening on the 30th of October at the Grand Arena. Let me also remind you that the delegates with the highest cumulative votes from the beginning of the pageant will secure a spot at the grand finale. 12 delegates stand before you tonight. Next week, the numbers are still going to go down. However, you have the power to keep your favorite delegates in the competition. Do not forget, text their numbers to star 711 star 80 hash. Thank you so much to GTP for their beautiful, colorful fabrics. And to all our other sponsors, to Frital, to Nivea, GH1 TV, Tomrick Hotel, Malta Guinness, 
Kenya Airways, to Royal Century Hotel and all our supporting sponsors. Thank you so much for being a part of our Miss Malaika Ghana 2021 edition. At this juncture, I'd like to say a very big thank you to my stylist, House of Pearl. Thank you so much for my outfit, GTP for my fabric. My makeup was done by Black Cherry and my hair from First Choice Hair and Beauty Saloon. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a beautiful evening. Thank you. Tell me the reason I should stay Is it the fact that you're alone? Why do you pick my pride and then crush it all? Shut up and bend over eh? and let your backer do the talking over. So back up, back up. You guys are doing beyond what a regular would do, and I'm attracted more to that. I like people who want to do something different, you know, not the usual TV. What's up, guys? Your boy Kitty, aka the Golden Boy, aka Sugar Daddy. Catch me on MX24. It is fun, it is fearless, it is factual. Across Africa, nations are beginning to trade among themselves like never before, creating the largest continental market the world has ever seen. On the Single African Market Program, we will show you how products, services, capital and people will be crossing barriers as the continent and its citizens embrace a single market in a sustainable manner for growth and development to meet targeted UN development goals. Congratulations, Your Excellency. Get the latest update on all opportunities from the continent's trade house. Know the success stories and how challenges are being addressed. Africa is ready to trade among itself and the world, so are the people. The single African market is the voice of businesses that trumpets the vision of Africa everywhere in association with the government of Ghana, International Chamber of Commerce, Business for Peace Foundation, GIZ, UNECA, and UNDP. The single African market, this Monday at 8 p.m. on MX24. It is seven. Oh, it's not seven o'clock. It is Broken Pen Plus o'clock. Hi, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome once again to the Broken Pen Plus show. My name is Jay Z, and I'm here with Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was smooth. I wasn't expecting oh, yeah. <laughs> it. Um, Anand, baby, what's up? <laughs> My name is Nana Senfa. <laughs> My name is Ajwa Adi, and um, you know how we do it every um, Friday, 7 p.m. We come to you live from MX24 Silicon Square, and then we bring to you the Broken Pen Plus. Um, today, before we get into like any chit chat or whatever, let's go right ahead and check out the story we have for today because we honestly cannot wait. We call this one "My Lost." Womanhood. Let's check it out. My Lost Womanhood. 
Last month was my craziest month. I'm a Form 3 student in a girls' school in Cape Coast. I'm a very bright student, one of the most intelligent in my class. But I guess my intelligence did not manifest last month. Let me explain into detail how foolish I was. Dear MX24, this is my broken pen. Bernard and Ali started dating just last August. He happens to be a 30-year-old businessman who usually ships cars and sells them. I had always questioned the source of his wealth, considering the fact that he had people working for him who always sat behind their laptops at his place. Yet, he always convinced me he was a legit businessman who just deals in cars. His proposal got me so excited. I mean, I was so proud to be dating a rich guy. A week into our fresh relationship and Bernard kept insisting on us having sex. Sweetheart, you're not a kid anymore. You're 18 and very mature to start having sex. That's what he always said to me. I was scared as I had never indulged in any sexual intercourse. I stood my ground and refused as I had made a vow to my mother never to have premarital sex. My dad unfortunately did not stick around with us with my mom getting pregnant at 18. So I have lived with a strong single mother all my life. I never planned on breaking that vow until my stupid self started getting swooned by Bernard's persuasion. He kept on insisting we do it else he would have it elsewhere. Finally agreed to do it with Bernard after his persuasiveness. I really loved him and did not want to lose him. We spoke lengthily on the phone and planned how we would go about it. I live at Northridge while he resides at Tema. Two separate worlds, if you tell me. But we still made it happen. We planned to meet at the VIP station right after my mom sees me off. So I gave my mom a goodbye hug and climbed the bus. I had already paid for the ticket and even given my bags to the conductors to place in the luggage compartment under the bus. I sat on my seat and watched my mom leave the vicinity. I quickly got down and asked the conductor to give me back my bags for her to rush back home. After a few exchange of words and a tip, they agreed to remove my bags for me. Since I had no phone to communicate with them, I headed straight to the back of the station.